going on YouTube? Eddie here, and behind me I have a brand new Grizzly G0513 X2F bandsaw. It's the Extreme Series. Um, it's a 17 inch, two horsepower bandsaw. And like the, the title says, YouTube paid for this. My channel paid for this. Look, I don't make an awful lot of money on my YouTube. I generally make about $150 to $200 a month, which is great. I love it. Uh, that money comes in every month, and I put that aside. I don't think about it. But, you know, but after about a year, I had a pretty substantial amount of money in that account. So this Grizzly, with along with the mobile base and the freight charges and the tax, this is about two grand. That's exactly what I had in my account. Uh, so it took me about a year to save for this, but this is why it's important for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, kind of kick that algorithm into overdrive so I get more views, so I can get more equipment, so I can bring in more reviews. Speaking of reviews, a lot of people, they don't like to admit when they make a purchase that there are things wrong with whatever they bought. I promise you guys, if there's something I don't like about this band, so I'm gonna let you know. I'm also gonna let you know what I do like about it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it out of its crate, we're gonna put it together, we're gonna to send it through its paces, and I'll, again, I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and what I don't like. So let's get busy. So as you can see, I removed the crate, only to find that the saw was bolted to the pallet. The only way to remove the pallet is to lift the saw or to lean it on its side. And I have no way to lift the saw, so I had to lean it on its side. But I had to make sure that the saw was supported. And the way I did that is I used some 2x8s I had laying around the, the garage. On a side note, I was lucky that I didn't drop this thing. I don't recommend doing this yourself. This saw is extremely heavy. I'm just going to show you what's going to happen mm -hmm. around here. I'm going to lift it up, and hopefully it just goes right to the here. You know what I mean? Okay. Right. Just line this up.
Okay, I'm just putting in a 240 outlet right above the bandsaw on the ceiling. I just tapped an existing 240 line in the attic. And as always, I will mention, do not rely on this video for your electrical needs. I am not a licensed electrician. So again, do not rely on this video for your electrical needs. Okay, so this is a little annoying. I have to manufacture my own plug for the bandsaw. It didn't come with one. Uh, I'm not sure if all manufacturers do this or not. I suspect they probably do, but it, nonetheless, it's still a little annoying and an extra unplanned trip to Home Depot. Okay, so now we're preparing the cast iron table to be installed on the saw itself. Uh, what we got to do is we have to degrease it. It's shipped in a sealed bag full of grease, full of oils, and that protects it during shipping. So we just need to get rid of that. And I'm using a degreaser foam spray and it works really well. All right, so I'm just making sure that the cast iron table is level. I'm also reinstalling the blade that I had to remove to install the cast iron table. So that begs the question, why do the manufacturers ship the bandsaw with the blade attached when one of the first things you have to do is remove the blade? If you guys know the answer, please comment below. And here we're just making sure that the blade is perpendicular to the table. And here we're just attaching the support rails for the fence. Aren't you impressed how quick I'm doing this? Okay, that was fun. Seriously, I love unboxing equipment, putting it together and setting it up for, for use. I really do enjoy that. Uh, so, so I took the bandsaw out of the crate. I put together the mobile base. Then as you saw, my son and I lifted the bandsaw back onto the mobile base, which it's definitely a two person operation. And then we had to make a, a couple of adjustments. We had to we had to put the table saw onto the saw it's the the table onto the saw. We had to make sure it was level. We had to make some adjustments to the blade guide and to the fence. But but overall, it's it's ready to go. Um, I said before this is the Grizzly G zero five thirteen X two F. It's the Extreme series. And what does that mean? It just means it comes with some uh, premium features that's not found on a normal Grizzly bandsaw. Uh, some of those features include, um, you have a blade tensioning indicator. You have uh, cast iron wheels. You have a window to view that blade tensioning indicator. You also have another window on the side here that views the wheel to make sure that the blade is directly in the center. If it's not, there's an adjustment in the back that you can move the blade left or right till it's on center. So there's a window right here. Great feature. This comes with a, a miter gauge. Um, pretty nice. Uh, 
the fence. The fence is fantastic. This is a cast iron fence um, on the side here. This is aluminum right here for the resaw. It's fantastic. Um, one, of, one of the better features are the blade guides, upper and lower. These are double, bear, double ball bearing blade guides, which are found on, usually found on more expensive uh, table saw. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that this came with those. Um, another feature that's fantastic is this foot brake. Now again, those wheels are cast iron. When you disconnect the power, the wheels are gonna be spinning for quite some time. So this brake comes in handy. You know, it's just a lot safer. Uh, so, now let's go over a couple of things I don't like. And again, I'm not getting paid for this review, uh, but what typically happens when you make a, a large pur purchase, you don't want to admit that you bought something that's flawed. But I promised you that, you know, if there's something I don't like, I'm gonna let you know. So, there are a couple of things. Um, number one, this throat plate. It's plastic, it's a piece of junk. Not a big fan of that. Also, the handles, all plastic, which, you know, it gets the job done. And, and again, you know, this is, it's not the most expensive bandsaw out there. So, I mean, I, I guess it come, I, I should expect it, right? It's just I'm not a big fan of plastic. Um, one thing, I, I, the biggest flaw I think I found, let me see if I can show you. Okay, for that, the, this measurement window for the, for the fence, it's indicating that it's right on 11 inches. Let's go ahead and take a measurement. We're at nine and three quarters inches. Now look, this bracket only goes in one way into this table, right? There's no wiggle room. There's no way to adjust this measurement tape. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to rip it off and try to, try to make it accurate. That is, if the adhesive still holds up, which I suspect it won't. So I'm gonna to have to go out and buy a new tape to make it accurate. And Grizzly, that's just not a good look. This was just laziness. Uh, so I, I was not pleased with this. But overall, I'm very pleased with the bandsaw itself. Now again, there are better bandsaw. This is kind of like the Chevy, right? Yeah, there are better cars out there, but Chevy's a good value. Except for their trucks, don't even get me started. But uh, in general, Chevys are good value. That's, that's Grizzly, right? There are better bandsaws out there, but you're gonna pay for it. So I think Grizzly is an excellent value. I'm very pleased with it. I do have this hooked up to, the, to my uh, dust collector. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn this on for the first time. Okay, so that one cut through this piece of scrap wood was fantastic. These curves, uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you how pleased I am because this is my third bandsaw. And it's been the only one where I've been able to cut a curve in a piece of wood like this so easily. Like the proverbial hot knife through butter. My first two, uh, my first table saw was a little toy. It was that nine inch Delta bench top bandsaw. Um, I was always having trouble with the blade guides on that. Really couldn't cut curves the way I wanted to. <clears throat> it would keep crossing, crossing the line, so to speak, all the time. And that was a, you know, a huge waste uh, from time to time. 
So I got rid of that thing uh, and I got a 14 inch um, Reliant bandsaw. Now this thing was like 35 years old, maybe even more. And for the first year or so it was fine. But then uh, I started needing to replace it, needed to replace parts. And I found it difficult replacing some of these parts. So I was able to get rid of that thing for what I paid for it on Marketplace. So that was good. But this Grizzly is, yeah, this is the first time I've owned a Grizzly in my workshop. I have a Powermatic, I have Jet, I have Delta, I have Rigid. Now I've got a Grizzly. Super excited about it, super happy with my purchase. I can easily recommend a Grizzly to any of you all. It's a, it's a great value and it's a great saw. So with that said, guys, if you haven't done so already, I really appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.